able to show you the two business models of how to make money with vibe coding that I have curated from my own personal experience, how I was able to scale my agency to almost $20,000 a month in revenue um, and how you can do the same. One of the things I can guarantee to you is that you will hit $5,000 a month if you follow the things that I'm telling you. This knowledge is completely free. And yeah, let's dive straight into it. So a little bit about my background. I recently built this app out called Jack Girl Fitness. We hit $65,000, but I also do what I'm about to teach you guys. I run a development agency building apps for others. Here's my case study building apps and AI automations. So I have knowledge on both, uh, both sides of the field and not only building an app for someone else, but also running your own app development agency. So let's get straight into it. The two ways to make money is to either build an app for yourself or to build your app for someone else. Now, here's the thing. You only need one project to get to that goal. 5K minimum, $200 a month with AI coding tools, right? That's pretty much it. Um, you're, that, that's literally your barrier to entry. How to land your first client is the most difficult part. I'll get back to that in a second. Let's jump over here. Building it out for you. It can take around one to three months to build. Very risky, high reward, and costly in marketing. The reason why I say that is it doesn't matter what type of app you build. You can build the best type of app possible, but if you don't have a good marketing-oriented team, what I mean by that, you only need one person good in marketing. Like, if I have one person on my team dedicated to posting short form videos for that app, we can figure out a way to blow it up. But number one way to make an app blow up right now is through creator marketing, exactly what I did to blow up this app through an influencer. Um, and if you don't have an influencer to partner with, just to give you a short rundown, people typically use sites like Sideshift to partner with people to make content that blows up. And this, the content that would blow up would typically, you know, funnel down into the app you build. Now, this sort of thing is very costly. <clears throat> you need $5,000 minimum to start, excluding the development cost. If you're building the app completely yourself, then that is different. So <clears throat> my point of message today is completely talking about this side. Building it out for someone else, an AI MVP agency, $5,000 minimum, what I can charge somebody for an app. And you can build this entirely for uh, using AI coding tools. Again, my uh, tool of choice actually is um, Codex. So if you guys have used Codex recently, it's what I've been using a lot and uh, it is very effective. Ever since Sonnet 3 came out, I would say we can safely say that it's taking over development and can now charge people real money to build apps for them. So let's get straight into it. How to land your first client. I'm going to teach you the most simple way. Let's back step. Content in general, if you started posting right now, you get 500 views. If you position your content properly and you say you're a developer, I'm building apps, I'm building, hey, I'll build your app out. Every single post you do is around 500 views. 500 times three on three different platforms, 1,500 views. Do that for seven days is 10,500 people who have saw, seen your content, right? Let's look at what 10,000 people look like. This is what 10,000 people look like. They have seen you. And I can safely say that if you did this through personal branding alone, you will blow up. <clears throat> you will be able to get your first client within 30 days of just posting app-related content, all right? So let's go ahead and um, give you explanation on other things as well. I got a question about like, how does it work? How does it, like, it's pretty much this, you know, one person says, hey, would you be interested in building app for me? And then you say, yes. All right, let's get a, bit, a, bit, a little bit more detailed right there about that. Do you need to hire developers? No. And I don't recommend you hire developers for this one reason. You get lost in what I would call communication debt. Communication debt is when you talk to a client and they represent something to you and they have 100% of an idea they're trying to express and convey. And you, at a bare minimum, should understand at least 85%. This 25% will be questions. The second you introduce somebody to watching, uh, to, to working on your app, um, that number will drop to like 50%. The reason being is that you are trying to tell them these things and you might forget a couple things. The reality is until you have mastered the art of not only team building, but communication with the client, you should only work on the apps yourself. And you only need that with one tool, like either Codex right now or Claude Code, whatever you choose. And so, yeah. Do not, after your first client, you're able to hire first, your first developer, but until you land that client, you should not do that. Now, <clears throat> this is the outreach method <clears throat> that I actually used to land my first client. It's called a dream 100. And what I would do is I would personally reach out to people, but I wouldn't just stop there. What I would do is I would reach out to people, but I would analyze their website, right? I would go through their website 
and I would actually build them the ad. So I would go to, let's say a potential client, let's say if it's a fitness client, let's say it's a law firm client. What I would do is actually go to Lovable and then I'll build out the app for them and I would just just work. Uh, and I would just build out the app actually, send over the demo and be like, hey, it would look something like this. For example, let's just pull one of these things here right now. Um, let's do the crypto. I don't know. Let's say if it was a crypto person, right? I want to build something crypto related. I would take something like this and be like, hey, and I'll put their branding on it. And then be like, yo, I built this for you. Let me know if this is something you're interested in. I have not responded to anybody who has not followed this. Like, like if you if you give a sample to them, they're going to respond to you. If they've seen you put the work in doing that outreach, they would respond to you. And what I mean by that is like, you should know the niches that you're reaching out to. I don't just reach out to anybody. I reach out to a specific group of people. When I landed this fitness client here with a creator and influencer, I had nothing, all right? And I did the three one hundred uh, Dream 100. I would reach out to, you know, a whole bunch of different people. All these people I just reached out to individually. Hey, hey, I built this for you. I built this for you. I noticed you do this. I noticed you do this. I would just grab their branding, grab their their, their business, and I would just simply uh, build the, out the app already pretty much, an MVP for them already. And yeah, another thing, I, I created a whole story about this too. I made a Reddit post two years ago just to show you guys how long I've been doing this. Two years ago, I made a post, 140,000 views on this post. I got around 10 to 20 clients at that time. That's what scaled my agency heavily. And it wasn't because, you know, I, you know, I just did things, whatever. It, you got to put in some work somehow. And, uh, and here I just discussed how I landed my first client. I'd follow the Dream 100. And once I did that, I did a post too about it. And I got like, again, 10 to 20 clients from these posts here because I shared my, my, uh, my progress, my journey so far. But yeah, if, I, if anybody had to tell me the highest probability of landing a client in, as fast as possible, if you can build for eight hours a day straight, personalized MVPs for every single person, I can guarantee you mathematically, you will not prove me wrong that you will have a call with somebody or somebody interested in building an app with you. That is it. You literally just need to build MVP, find, find your audience. First step here, let me write it down for you. First step, find uh, somebody, find potential partner. Second step, build, look at their branding. Third step, build out the app with Lovable. Fourth step, host the app. Uh, it's already hosted, so send them the app with something along the lines of, hey, my name is X. I built, I built apps. I think this would be perfect for you. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Now, this is not really a highly converting message, but along the lines of that, and then you would insert the link here. If you go and watch any sort of video doing any sort of outreach in any, any other business model, their main thing is doing Loom videos. Those Loom videos um, are pretty much the same thing, except this is app related. You're building out the app for them and you're sending them a preview link. That is all. Thank you guys. This is how to land your first client and let me know if you have any success.